Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today Live! I'm the Golden Deer's very own Surreal Vasquez. I'm joined by uh, the Black Eagles' uh, Kim Wallace. And I guess Tax, the kind of the mean uh, Blue Lions. Yeah. Blue Lions? I, I they just, they just seem like, like, I don't know, they seem the least interesting and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> This is a great start. I, it right, I'm like, I was, was no. going to say, I, but I'm you're really, here. you're really good with a sphere. I'm so out of here. that's yes. true. <laughs> I've often described Antac as being really good with a spear. With a spear. So, um, Kim, where are? What is this? Yes. Yeah, so, okay, but this is. I'm in a new game plus, by the way. Um, finished in the Fire Emblem Three Houses. Is, yes, and this is my second house, which is the Golden Deer. I started with the Black Eagles, which I highly recommend that route because okay. there's some really good um, twists, and I think it's really cool to just. Edelgard is a really badass bitch. Okay, so, so I'm just going to go out okay. and say that. for She's what? a good like leading protagonist. But yes, in Fire Emblem Three Houses, you are choosing between three houses, okay. very Harry Potter-like, and sure. deciding which one you want to join. And so what I tell people when they're like, which house should I pick? I say, look at the cast of each house because you are going to really get to know them and they will be involved in like every little thing that you do. So it's very much for that first half of the game you're really entrenched in your house and then things kind of go a little bit you can recruit people from other houses if you want but you got to really impress them kind of okay. with certain skills of yours but yes claude is the leader of golden deer um he's kind of laid back like you can't really he plays the neutral card but you can't tell if that's really like a strategy mm, like or a people pleaser. yeah right or he, it's like he doesn't really care he's not um he kind of got pushed like put into this uh you know, with his family and stuff, and I, I, you can't tell what his true intentions are, which is why I think his path is going to be really interesting um, okay. to play, so I picked it as my second. But right now, we are in the certification screen, because I figured people would like to see the classes and how you, you take, obviously, in three houses, you are a professor, you are instructing your students, you get to kind of help them mold the skills you want for them and turn them into the characters you want them to be. So if you're making like a balanced party, for instance, um, Golden Deer House has a little more on the archery side um, of a perk. Okay. But so that's like Claude right now. But you take your exams. It tells you your odds of passing. So you kind of know oh, if your character okay. is close or not. He's not close right so now. So even though he's the leader of his house, he just is. Well, not we're still make it. early on in the game. I should say like for this playthrough that I just did for this is we're like maybe 10 hours okay. in or so. So it's still pretty early in Out the game. Out of how many? Um, for me, it took like 55, 60. Okay. And I did like all the side quests though. And I grinded a little bit at certain points because the end battle is like, I found the game fairly easy until I got to the second half toward the end. And then it was just like, oh crap. Now I need to like really pay attention sure. to what I'm doing with each of my okay. moves. But I've heard everybody very varied on the difficulty level. I mean, I, to be fair, I've played a lot of Fire Emblem games, so... That okay. could just be my knowledge of playing them. But yeah, so you can you can see what I recommend when you guys go into here is like look what you need for each character and decide ahead of time like what like this. You need Lance and Riding to make him a cavalier. So obviously when you do your um when you're instructing him, you wanna have him doing extra lessons in those areas. But there's so no way he's going to he's going to pass. The no, not lessons. at this point. You know, right now I'm kind of I'm sticking with him. But he he's meant to be an archer like clearly, so I'm kind of going to go with that okay. class. But you have advanced and then you have mastered. So yeah, like you'd asked me like what's the difference between the Reverend Rider? Right on this one and the master one and we've decided that the master one you become a lord probably okay. better stats yeah. but you know i have to and you get better gear on sure. your you know make it look fancy but yes these are kind of what you'll be doing and working toward as a professor right. with your students like okay. i said well let's hop into you want to explore action. the school okay. or yeah, do you guys want to see a battle should we let let's, them pick what's chat want to yeah, do yeah what's chat want to do tack how much fire emblem have you played a lot not all yeah. the games but uh that's about half the games, probably. Okay. All right. That's yeah. That's quite a time commitment, especially recently, like with Fates. That was a whole lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. That. I should say too. You have a calendar that helps you kind of plan your occasions while people decide okay. what they want. 
Um, and you can see like what's coming up. So like, oh, it's got a birthday coming. Yeah, up. Yeah. So like this, oh, I can get like it's a fish bounty festival. Okay, I can probably level up my characters' bonds way better by planning to do social stuff on that day. And this is a good day to take a battle because of the fact that there's nothing going on, mm -hmm. and you too want to make sure you're battling with your students. You can also send them to seminars, which like they get. You know, they're picked. Their attendees are picked kind of at random based on what they're kind of focusing on but you can have a professor who obviously has higher skills than they do kind of teach them and that right. helps them level up those skills and i'm guessing there's there's lore behind each of these seminars but you're really just looking for keywords at this point right like okay balance is lance so it, it's a lance seminar is yeah that, pretty basically? much pretty much yeah you got it right like oh i want to send people here for sword you know because she's got an a in it and right. i like my character here Byleth is that's the name they gave her in my playthrough. It was not that because okay. I don't like it. Okay, you're disowning. I would never <laughs> name my I'd character never Byleth name my kid under that. no circumstances. <laughs> or never name myself that or however I'm playing this. Uh, but Leo, what is the consensus? Battle or it's school by a hair. That's okay, right. let's do it. We'll explore. It's Is there a fishing minigame? Yes, of cool. course. Oh, hey, just you checking. know it. Uh, so because I have New Game Plus here, I can kind of go into some of the perks you can do with that. Like you can unlock support levels that you unlocked in past games by using your renown points, which okay. you get by completing battles and um, doing things around the school. Like you'll find books that can help you. Kind and, of. And just to be clear, we're going to try our best not to spoil anything. Right. Yeah. So yeah, to, that's just obviously we're going to talk about systems and yeah, your some professor of these early parts, level but. helps because it lets you as you level it up, it allows you to do more things. Um, in any given day at the school so you have extra social interactions you can do then or mm. maybe take on an extra battle so yes you want all so that so what percentage would you say this is like persona at this point because oh you yeah have social so lanes, i was gonna say this walking around school yeah. you have calendars i was joking with my friend you know how in persona you want to do all your social stuff and then you're like all right i guess i got to do this dungeon now yeah. it's pretty much that with like the main story missions yeah. here so you okay. get really into the social stuff and you're like okay well now i've got to do the actual work of battle, but the battles are fun too. If you're a strategy RPG fan, you'll you'll get a kick yeah, out of that. Yeah, there's some changes that we can talk about when we start playing, but uh, that some of those changes sound so pretty So you major. can garden. Okay, let's do some gardening. I, I recommend doing some gardening because of the fact that, hey, It'll get your professor level up. Well, you get you get you can get flowers to give to students because you want to. Um, you not wanna... necessarily ro romance them, but you want to build your relationship with them. Okay. There is romance later in the game. Um, some real fine some real fine lines here, but okay. Yeah, I don't I don't think they should have put romance in this game honestly because it just feels tacked on and Can you and can you romance the teachers? <laughs> yeah. You can also choose to romance <laughs> okay. no one. So, okay. you have that option. It's optional. It's like it's a I tell people, it's a 2 minute scene out of like a 55 hour experience. It's uh you know, I only got to see like I said one of them, but one of the romance scenes. Okay. Yeah, but it. But you can just say like anytime someone. Yeah, I heard. A no, lot thank of you. I'm I living was, a yeah, life of I was, chastity. Yeah, that's what I said. I was just. They shouldn't have put them in because it's more fun to see your students kind of start to have love connections than right. anything. Oh, so you, can, can you pair up students yes. with each other? Well, they can build, yeah, well, I don't want to spoil anything, but yes, you can kind of... You just, like, suddenly suggest, you'll hey, see, You'll know, see their relationship whatever. progress where, like, one of them will kind of initiate the whole, I like you more than just friends. See, that's, that's what I want to do more than, like, yeah, actually dating them myself. Yeah, that's what is more fun about this. So, yeah. yeah, you're walking around the monastery. And, two, you can also go anywhere you want, um, fast travel. So, and also, you it'll show you, like, if they have something new to say that you haven't seen yet. So, I recommend after every min main mission looking to see who you can talk to because there's also opportunities to um, raise level, uh, your relationship levels and conversations. Also, there's a bunch of stuff around the school. You can find hidden Ooh. items, return them to this send. Is, this is where Tack can get busy and Yeah, figure so out his today's opinions. special, you can uh. see whose meals, like, you, it's all about motivation, so you want them to have the green because um, you can teach them more lessons then. Mm. Um, but if your students don't have high motivation, like right now, Raphael's not looking so hot, so I'm gonna take it's, it's him. It's a smiley face. I well, not so hot. It's, 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 but he's, you know, he could be higher. Let's he's just say happier. He's, he's well. probably like a little. We we could get it better. So you're saying like, Raphael could smile more? Yes, he could <laughs> also sweetie. get a shirt that fits, but that's uh. This is delicious. That smell. Mm, it's <laughs> oh, amazing. The smell. Very nice. 
So yes, I motivated them. So now he's happy. Yes, see, and I, now I'll be able to teach him a little bit. Well, why well, professor leveled up? Who I served these guys food, and now to, I'm a better uh, professor. Would, uh, make you a better professor, but I guess yeah, relationship-wise. Oh, your recipe book for cooking together has expanded. So yes, you can also cook with the students, um, and this is cool because. Uh, it'll give you little perks for like the rest of the month. So like all your allies will gain three HP by okay. doing this. So there, there's a lot of cool little things Sounds like this fun. to do. And the great part about the exploration part with the school oh, no, is it's basically how much do you want to put into it? It's not forced on you. If you're just like, I want to just get to the strategy battles and go through the story. That's fine. See, so is this like a, a monster hunter there. type thing where it's like, hey, eat a, f eat a meal before you... I mean, I recommend doing okay. everything p possible that you can to put yourself in the best position for the next battle. Right. But and is it, So it's like a thing where it's like, hey, if you want to make it slightly easier on yourself when you actually go out... Yeah, I'll also show you these statues that really help, that I think, okay. people. So here's the amiibo gazebo. Oh, the gets. amiibo gazebo. Huh? Yeah, hello. Okay. And also there's stuff around it that you should pick up because, hey... Have you tried uh, any Amiibos with it? What, what? Yeah, it was like some background track that it... I was not impressed with what it actually gave me, oh. but uh, I tried like two or three of them because of course I have all the Fire Emblem Amiibos sure. and I needed to see, but um, you know, it's, it's just a little perk. Uh, Kuya on Twitch wants you to send a kid to detention. Can you do that? Boom. I wish. Mm. So all um, your kids are good? They're n none of them are like... Well, you might not. Or... Uh, yeah, none of that. They'll come up to you for advice. So, see, I found unused lipstick now that I can try to find for the owner and give it back to them, and that will improve our relationship. Is that your job? Like, shouldn't you just get put in lost and found? Well, <laughs> no, that becomes part of your job okay. here. Okay, all right. Yeah, I guess teachers are usually overworked and underpaid, so. Well, I mean, I you want to give them back to the students too. Students are always using. That's losing true. Their so you stuff. can actually use this to get closer to a student. That's that's shrewd thinking from Byla. <laughs> She's like, I'll just give it a little bit of frame rate stuff on here, but it's yeah. very small. Not my favorite. Okay. All right. That's how if you. That gate just wants to disappear. That's fine. Yeah. yeah just go true. through doors. There's also, here's the advice box. Um, this can help raise your relationship. Their little advice notes they'll give you. Okay. Wait, you the have tea here does. Right? You got you got time. You wait, wait. I could send for some supplies home, but is there truly not a soul in this place with tea? Oh, so you can tell them who to ask for tea leaves. Um, and you have a timer. Yes. It's Nailed me, it! Caspar. Nailed it. Um, but that's just a little thing you can do. It's free. It doesn't take any activity points. <laughs> uh, can build it up. But you do have to like. Who, we'll send some kids to Literally. choir practice. I mean, it's it really immerses you. Oh, and a professor too. We'll put Manuela in there. Yeah, yeah. This other professor, you want to you want to go to choir <laughs> practice? Here we go. <laughs> oh, something appears to be wrong with my throat. Sorry, this man. This is no good. Sing from your diaphragm. I'm surprised that, that helps acting. you build your faith and yeah voice acting is like the leaders especially have really good voice acting the others kind of with the different cast little hit and miss with it but nothing that it's better than you'd expect for having such an expansive cast in here Be so here's oh what go on Leo I was just gonna say people in the chat seem to think the camera is too close is there any way to change that is this just the camera angle this is just uh, welcome to the camera I mean, let's see. Grid. No, it just seems like, yeah. It I seems mean, like that's the camera. No, there's just rotation speed, mini map size, restricted there's cameras off. I don't, the camera hmm. will be configured to a north facing angle. I don't think that's going to fix it. Nope. No. Uh, so I think this, I th yeah, I think this is, this is the camera. It's not like this on the battlefield. Um, it's just kind it's of, a, they wanted to kind of make the first, yeah, person stuff. Need something. So these are, sta I've maxed out some of these statues, but as you go in the game, you will get your renown points and you can put them into these statues, which gives you great perks for your um, units, your students, I should say, on the battlefield. Um, so it's nice to have divine pulse is what lets you rewind time in battle. You can get an extra one on that, which is nice. Um, I'd pay attention to like what you want to build up and don't forget about them. They're in the back of the cathedral. Gosh, um, not the casino, not the casino. What, what am I thinking? <sighs> but yeah, it's uh, 
Okay, so you spend a significant amount of time like between missions, like talking to all your students. Yes, and... yes, exactly. Okay. Um, but we can go ahead to a battle. So like, yeah, let's let's. There's try some one side other, quests I picked up, as you'll see on the left side of the screen, um, and those you actually have to step outside on the battlefield. I recommend doing those because they open up really good shops and also give good items. Okay. So yeah, let's. So what you can always do is you can say you're finished exploring. Sorry. And today's free time. Let's do it. We'll let you see some of the classroom stuff, and then we'll go into a battle. Okay. So you can instruct manually or automatically. I like to have all... I'm a control freak. I need to make sure that my students are getting the areas yeah. that I want. So did you I, ever try the, the automatic? Yeah, I did. It, it's fine. I mean, but Is, here's... Okay. So see how we had had their motivation levels? Now you can do these private lessons with them. We have seven... Um, you won't have as many as this when you start because uh, you got to build up your your bonds with your students to get it better. So, but do, you, so do you theoretically have infinite time to train your students, or is there something? Is there some some threat on the clo of a clock? Well, here's what it's their motivation. So see, we can get his level up and try to teach him to fly here. But I like, see, see how his motivation's now gone down. I can do it again. And it goes down even more. Right. And I can praise them and get that up. So it really depends. I'm more talking about, like, the calendar. Like, is there a... Doomsday. Like, yeah, exactly. Is there, like, a penalty for just training forever? And, you know, obviously you got to use the motivation. Well, you up, only but... have, like, one time a week that you can go out with your students right. and kind of instruct them. But... So there's no way but to, do like, you have infinite... like, grind, basically grind all your students to max level? Do you have infinite weeks, I guess, is, is the, no. the base question here. You no. don't. You've got a time limit. Yes, it's not. It, it, the time limit goes with the story. Nobody okay. freak out. But right, you can't hey, just sit there and out. like infinitely like max stuff out. You'll probably need a new game plus to do some of that. You can also assign group tasks. And this lets you, with these three um, in particular, build their skill levels up and also their relationships. So let's sit, let's make some people do some leads, I guess. <laughs> Is everyone compatible? Like, can you build up? anyone's relationship with anyone or is it no okay. there's certain ones that can go to like you'll only be able to level up to the level b while others can go all the way to s see here you can see that they can go all the way up to a level okay. but let's see if i can find one who wouldn't see she can only go these two can only go up to b um so a few of them have like i said some if they can go up to s usually that leads to a romance at some point as you can see you can go past with some of that okay. so that that arrow indicates like these guys are good together. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you can, if, like I said, if you don't want to go through all the stats of every character and do it, you can auto, which it's going to do right now for just, me. Just when you put on a movie that the kids can watch. Yeah. Basically, you're just like, I don't want to pick everything, pick it for yeah. me, which I'm sure some people as it goes on will want to do. But Violet's see that this is when you watch, yeah, this is when you watch them the kind of get their new skills, which is kind of satisfying just to see the different levels on. Um, and then you begin your lecture. So let's do this. Oh, and I think it makes sense for me to be a holy knight. Uh, so you can decide if you want to change their goals. Right now, I have her. Oh, she's her, like, oh, I want to major I, in holy knight. Yeah, I'm like, I have her focused as a bishop as just like pure heel. She's saying, no, I want to be holy knight. And I can decide. I can say no, and it, she'll stay the same. Or holy I can be knight like, is not a safe go career ahead. path. I go think ahead. there's more employment if you become a bishop. But that's just me. I mean, I agree, but we'll let, we'll let her make hey, her birthday. own mistakes. Oh, so it's her birthday. Do they well, get a cake? All right, let's take her out for tea. Okay. My least favorite mechanic in this game, but I'm willing <laughs> okay. to show it off. Wait, are we going to make tea? Is that the idea? No, we're having a conversation. Oh, okay. Um, so. so you kind of just, this is a big way to build relationships. You can go out to tea with people. So we'll give Thanks her some good tea. Me. Hey, yo. Thanks. Why is this your least favorite? Tea is cool. Um, we'll see. Or top it. It's it? very random. So you have to pay attention to your students. Um, and you talk, and then you're like, okay, what would she like to talk about? I mean, so, oh, so it's just you and them. Yes, it's not like a party. So okay. the conversation, yeah, it's a party with you and your students. Oh, okay. or I professor. want one of those cookies. Yeah, those those. Those. yeah. I mean, so would you say that this uh, this has more social elements than uh, than the other fire emblems? Like I know they already have, yeah, much, but this has seems to have, just in what we've shown, oh boy. a lot. We've been here for how long? Oh, she didn't like Maybe that topic. Seen... See, now she's oh. mad at me. So I'm not going to be to show you the observe feature, which is where it's it okay. gets a little creepy. Got a nice um, tea time. I don't want to hear about your Wait, party. excuse me, the observe feature? Yes. So there's an observe feature. If you get all, you get a perfect tea time 
and then you can just like look at your student very close. Mm, excuse me? It's weird. Mm. Or prof other professors. I mean, I, I, I have an idea of what you're talking about in my mind, but I'm Yeah, hesitant and you can to... nod and giggle, and it's weird. Um, <laughs> Would this game make it onto Steam is what I, I, I guess is <laughs> what I'm asking. It's not, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. I say... Now, when you say it, observe... <laughs> it feels like you're... Are, are they in the look, garden with the tea, or are they in a oh, oh, you're in the garden still with the tea. Okay. Sorry. It's just okay. like when you're like, oh, I'm going to look into someone's eyes or whatever. Like, yeah. you know what I mean. Just like, going to mm -hmm. deploy some male gaze. Yeah. So when you, say, when you say you look at their eyes, is that what... Is that I'm what so was? mad I messed up that last sentence because yeah. I could have just showed it, and it would have been so much better. But I, I am actually really curious to see how far it goes uh, there. That's... Will it get us kicked off Twitch? I don't, no. I don't know. No, What's it's nothing this, like that. This game's like what, T-rated? Yeah. I got okay. kicked out of school so for telling a student I was going to show them my amiibo You gazebo. can do <laughs> two battles, um, and then some you don't have to, you won't lose a point so for So the doing. auxiliary battles are basically like optional. Yeah, and then you can do these optional quests. So, so que are quests additional battles, or they're like, hey, if you do the, a mission where you do this goal? If you do this, you'll lose, like, as you will with a battle or whatever. It's just okay. optional. Like and I said, they open up stuff. All right, I don't really want to say So how, does, how, how do quests like this, like, jive with the idea of permadeath in, in the attack? Can they die during, like, their school battles, basically? I didn't have anyone die when I did any side quests. Okay. Um, so I can't answer that. But, there, like I said, there is optional. You can put permadeath on or off. It's very devastating to put on because technically you really feel like a failed teacher when you get your right. student killed. Um, <laughs> but so here's the the screen. You obviously you can kind of decide with which units you want to take. Every um, your professor can also have somebody tag along with her um, as like a side character that will level up with her. Um, so that's that's cool. And then let's see. We'll just fight, I guess. I could. Oh, always check. Go to the marketplace. Hey, girl. Um, <laughs> you have your battalions, which are really cool, um, that you can hire. They're a group of soldiers. You can equip all your characters with them. You level them up, uh, and they give you extra abilities in battles. And you can't get so they're counter... So they're not like additional units. You can't You can't get... No, you can't um, get counterattacked when you use them. Oh. So they're really valuable, especially okay. for taking down big monsters. Also, like, for instance, some of them have really cool skills. Like, this one will poison his attack that he does on people. Um, this one will put him up in flames. And they all have different um, classes, I should say. So some will, like... Uh, represent magic, others will represent um, healing, you know, attack, whatever. So, so the battalion you, depends on who you assign it to? Is well, that... you you hire them, oh, so, okay. and you can so, get so more to hire are... through doing quests and stuff. So you hire oh, okay. these, and every character can have one attached. They're, a new, um, they're new in the game, and they actually ended up being my favorite, because I liked having the ability to um you know have these extra extra abilities on my characters and then not have to worry about taking that counter attack which honestly sure. is great there's also the blacksmith you're going to want to make sure that like your so the durability stuff is all like yeah. intact okay. yeah the durability you just want to make sure you're always not risking having an item break on you you also can uh, craft things you can forge or repair it so there's the repair but you can also let's see if i have anything to make better um, also, you kind of want to have multiple, like, I have a lot of iron there. That's not a good example. So I have a steel bow and iron bow here because some enemies will take more damage depending on the material um, oh, okay. associated with your weapon. So it's just important to kind of have a variety. Iron. So it's not always just like steel is universally better than iron? It just depends on the enemy type. Okay. So you'll have like armored enemies who will take more damage from certain things than, say, a mage or something. Um, it just, or flying. Um, so. Right. Yeah, girl. Okay, let's fight. Let's show. I'm doing this like. So really now this fast. is like this is fire. Yeah, this is what we know, right? right. Um, Units on a board. Grids, red yep, and blue. There's the enemies there. And okay. who are these guys supposed to be? Like, they're just a bunch there's of thieves. There's a lot of bandits. Yeah, thieves. You know, people want power, and uh, yeah. stand ready. And they want to see, and you can see, like, okay, I'm gonna get attacked by those two points now. Like, it's oh, very okay. That's clear cool. what you're gonna. And I said, like, can more you do so the thing than where, where you like Me? just show all the enemy ranges at once in like that purple sort of gray yes, highlight? Yes, yes, okay. that's still there as well. So, like, I can put this here and wait. Also, putting them in the bushes and stuff is a good idea because then 
they're they have like a terrain advantage. Yeah, less less chance for them to hit. Obviously, pay attention to your support groups. Um, like honestly, that's a bad place to put her. We'll just okay. put her right there. Leo, does Chad have any questions so far? Let's get. Mildo to says, "Can I get this on PC, please?" No, I don't think you can. But I keep dreaming, but someday. No, 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 no. You never know, man. Someday. With all the all the Microsoft and Nintendo things okay. going Nintendo on. Nintendo doesn't want to leave money on the table, and this would obviously be a great, <laughs> great PC game. That's right, because Nintendo is known for bringing their games to Steam. They will catch up to the year 2019 in the year 2025. <laughs> so we'll get it eventually. <laughs> yeah. It, it'll be on the Epic Store, though. Which oh, will make exclusively on happy. the EGS, yeah. Serial, whatever you think Nintendo is doing, they're doing the opposite. So that's oh. a good indicator it might happen. Great. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so you're so having your phase. archers kind of hang back yeah. here. Uh oh. Oh. One damage. Don't, That's a lot. Don't mess with me. Okay. Battalion leveled up from that. I got a pirate battalion on him. Hey oh. And look at the relationship grew. So that still happens. That's a, a thing where if you're fighting with someone else nearby, you'll your relationship with that person grows. Yeah. Okay. See, my plan works. Are you still, like, because a lot of my experience with Fire Emblem games were getting really low-level people to basically finish off a bunch of enemies. Yes, okay, still that's still the case. It. All right, let me see if I can show. Um, yeah, that would be, like, if you wanted to use your um, battalion as the gambit feature. Okay. So see how I it shows that I would take no damage if I did that because of the fact right. that he can't counter on so, me? So usually in Fire Emblem games, they give you, like, they have, like, the one ringer unit who's, like, Here's like this really powerful unit that if you use them too much, it's probably going to hinder the growth of all your other characters, but they're really that powerful. Do they give you that here or is it just you at this point? It's kind of, it's you basically, okay. honestly. Uh, but like this girl's kind of a tank right here once you build her up a little bit and has like a similar role. Like I said, it really okay. depends on who you want to build. I wanna... Do like an ultimate ability. You got those? I can do the gambit and I have the combat arts. I don't like the combat arts personally. They take away a lot of your weapon durability and they become less useful as the game goes on. Okay. And uh, the uh, weapons are, uh, so like we could they have just... limited uses, right? Like, yeah. Okay. yeah. So you really don't want to do that, but I'll show you one. Also, the plural of art is just art still. Yeah. yeah. I'll celebrate later. You That's over true. there. Leo. You. Something to think about. Yep. Nintendo. That is true. So, but the, uh, one thing uh, that is gone is the, uh, the combat triangle. Right, like the, the yeah, weapon triangle? It's, it still matters what weapon you pick. I don't want people, like, obviously some will be better to use. Um, you'll do more damage with, like, a bow and arrow on some enemies. Let's see, because right here I do eight on him. I do that. So, so like, it, like if there yeah. were, like, a, a flying unit, you, like a Pegasus, the arrows would do a, lot, yeah, a ton of damage. exactly. Like, you see on the side what you're going to do with your hit, which always, okay. like I said, that forecast is still there. I'm just going to go after him. Um, Boom. Oh. I'd like to see like an arrow that does two damage, like what that looks like. <laughs> just, oh, it just grazed me. Didn't even. Um, yeah, I can show dart. you. Let me yeah. show you the battalions because they're just cool. Hey, yo, gambit boost because I'm by them. So this is just like making them better. So yeah, you're. Char oh, I missed. I should. Here's what I should say about these: the risk in using them is their hit rate is not as high. Um, we were so busy nobody running. got him. <laughs> yes. Uh, we were so busy running, I'm we like, forgot oh, to do the swinging this is like part. The story of my life. This is my favorite new feature. It really helped me in battle. Let me okay. show it to all of you. Doesn't hit. The students clearly went to the XCOM school of uh, <laughs> of attack. If one of us misses, we all miss. Uh, I should say noble students all have crests, and those can do like extra, um, you know, increase some of their stats. Okay. Basically, what is a noble student? Well, they're of roy the royal blood. Oh, okay. okay. A commoner, like a, a commoner, um, will not have, doesn't oh, so have a crest. So they're like Slytherin. Bit, so yeah. they, like these, the the people you're with basically randomly have this attribute of being noble. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Sorry, I'm being really conservative because I'm talking, okay. but and I don't want to make That's it. Fine. Well, these dudes don't really appear to be a threat to you. So. This is like. Why just... do you keep missing, Lorenz? I mean, they are, they are Jesus, still students. Get your They're still shit learning. Together. Uh, one thing that I usually end up doing in, in a lot of games like this is cutting all these animations out after I've seen them like the hundred thousand. Oh, I still like to see them because okay. they just see. But can I know. you? Yeah, I okay. think so. I didn't you try speed, to. You can speed but things up. Yeah, a you can bit definitely speed things up. Okay. Not saying you should do that now, obviously, but 
definitely a thing I All always... right, let's try this again and see if I can get one okay. to freaking work. All right, let's do it. Don't underestimate us. Come on, come on. This time, remember yeah! to hit. <laughs> okay. God. This is pretty funny to see, like, 30 dudes all miss Yeah, it just, it's, 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 like I said, it's cool. I like them. And the stat bonuses and, you get from leveling up are still random? Um, what do you mean the... the like, bonus? when you, when you level up and it's like, hey, you get one luck, one strength. Yeah. Like, those bonuses are still random. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can, no, you know what? I might want Punchy Guy. Let's do Punchy Guy. Hmm. Yeah, he's got this. Um, again, you want to pay attention to their might level because it'll determine how many hits they can get right. in. Are there still brace swords? The, the ones that like get you to go faster, basically, and make it a lot easier to attack twice? Uh, so there's stuff that you get with your main character that are special items that help like okay. that. Um, Jonathan Ward asks, would most people enjoy this game or would you consider it niche? I feel like this Good is question. so. Yeah, I feel like this is one of the most um, newcomer-friendly Fire Emblems. Um, I actually, one of my friends right now, got excited when she saw me playing. Actually, Elise Favez. I don't know why I'm not saying her name. Uh, who works here? <laughs> we dare and, not utter her name. <laughs> well, and she's like Kim, but I don't really like strategy RPGs. And I'm like, yeah, I. I mean, you're gonna have to be in strategy battles. I'm not gonna lie about that. But she told me this morning. Um, She's been playing a lot, and she's, uh, she's like, I actually, I like it. Okay. And I'm like, because it's like that Persona thing where you don't, you go for the social interactions. Like, that's right. either going to hook you, or the combat is makes, one of them. That, and that informs makes, a lot of the battles and makes it a lot yeah, easier. Yeah, exactly. And also, I feel like this this game has, like, like casual settings and things oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah. Like they make the, the battles a lot easier. You can easier. turn off permadeath. You now have the option to, like, here, let me see if I can activate it like say i didn't like what i did on that turn yeah i can go back in time what? okay yes this is optional again if you want a hard and experience you have a, you don't have a, use it a, a, this uses up a resource right like you, yeah you, you have these are the limited how many you can use them like i have five charges right now but that's because of i'm on new game Plus. oh so you're going back like all the way you to can the go game. back as far as like pretty far honestly was that okay. where we started i think so anyways um it can save you in battle um, especially as they go on and they're like an hour long. <laughs> this, this, I don't know if I don't know if this is a question you can't answer, but is, is it a thing where it's like, hey, I'm I'm trying to kill this person and my attack miss. Can I rewind so that the next time I attack it won't miss? Like, is that something you can? Is that can you exploit so it? So let's way? let's say uh, you get just crit, okay, crit yeah. hit and die instantly, and you're like, what the hell? You can then rewind and. So obviously don't place your character in the same damn spot, but you can change your change where you put your character and not have that crit thing happen. Okay. I mean, even doing even if you're in the same, I should say, same uh, do the same exact thing, you might not get crit hit with there. Okay. So it's uh So it can help a little bit there. Go girl. She doesn't like to do anything, so she delegates all her responsibilities to everybody else. So she's very much my role model. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, so it's, I, I'm trying to force to her out of it. But no, instead, is. I'm yeah. in love with this character. No, I, yeah, I'm like, nope, that's a... Uh... But she'll swing the axe herself. Like, that's fine. Yeah. It's giving her some confidence. So, like, the iron... See, the iron one will do more than steel here, so we want that. Because it'll knock the enemy out. So, uh, which which house you use determines basically your your entire lineup. Does it? It's what other fun. things in it's battle fake. does it alter? Does it? Is there anything else different? That... It's just uh, the Black Eagles have more a little bit of a mage uh, magic perk. Sorry, okay. um, while the um, their archery uh, golden deer and then the other spear. And I think okay. I've accidentally said sword on podcast for that. And I'm sorry. Uh, mm. I just, I hate Dimitri personally. So I didn't pay attention to him. He just seems like a jerk. The so, golden deer? No, no the, the blue lines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tech, just because you went to that school doesn't mean you're responsible for everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Me and Dimitri, we hang, we hang on weekends. Okay. You guys were in the same frat house? <laughs> yeah. Look, Dimitri knows that the system has benefited him as a noble, and why would you really want to like go away from the status quo? I like Dimitri. That's right. He he's he cool acknowledges guy. his privilege. That's fine. He knows he's privileged. He knows he's got it good. Mickey Bossman is wondering which of these characters is most likely to show up in Smash DLC that everyone will complain about. There it is. 
The main one? <laughs> yeah, Bi Byla. With that horrible name. And it's going to be another sword-wielding character with, yeah, with a shield. Blue, blue hair. There you go. She's going to crit it. Boom. Nice. That's w fun to damage. watch. That's a lot. That's like well, a, that's a huge amount of fire I was going to say, it's fun to watch as you go on because the crits just pile up as you, like, um, improve your characters. So battles get real fun just watching them can, annihilate people. Can your character, the character you are in this world, do they level up their class or is it just like, I'm the teacher class? Uh, you just level up your class. Okay. Um, but you're leveling up like their individual, like there's letter grades for all their okay. weapon proficiencies. But you can use every kind of weapon. Yeah. Okay. Can everyone use every kind of weapon? Like if you train them for it? If you train them, yeah. Okay. You really have a lot of um, flexibility over how you build your characters. So that's nice. Um, and I liked being able to decide ahead of time on kind of the balance of the classes I wanted to do for different characters. And it's cool to see as they level up, like especially when you start getting people on horses and dragons and all that fun stuff. So so Kim, is this your game of the year right now? Oh man, this is the question everybody's asking me and I that's feel a, that's like- a good question. And I, I, okay, here's what I'll say. It's a yes I, or no question. <laughs> It's a binary answer. I have not seen myself. <laughs> Heck, you of all people. Unable. Where's the last person? I mean, oh, her. Little. We'll, we'll have her take this enemy out. I was not. I was so glued to this game in a way I haven't been with anything else this year. But I also really liked my time with Kingdom Hearts, and so it's gonna come down to a really tricky. How do I feel when I finally have to make that decision yeah. come November, December, whenever we? That's a tough decision like, to make in November. What if you had to make it right now? Oh God! Kim, Don't you're killing Kim, me. Kim, I didn't want to interrupt, but I wanted to congratulate you on that incredible stat boost where you got like six stats. That's really, really <laughs> cool. Oh yeah, these are the big guys who you want. Like when if you get them, they usually you see the green. They have the money. They're also like the main little oh, okay. mini boss to take down. And there's no recruiting in. of enemies, right? Like that, like there have been in past Fire Emblem games. There's no like, hey, if you talk to this guy instead of fighting him with the right person, you can well, maybe get them added. Okay, maybe, maybe there is. <laughs> well, not, not, uh, like, not. Don't expect to be able to do that. Like there, you can talk to people on the battlefield, but it's very far and few. Okay. And that option comes up very, uh, I should say, not a lot. What okay. if I want to get to you and observe them? No, don't just observe actually. enemies on in the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, hold on. I'd like to look at you. Take it. Get all these guys in the back line there. I know. I've got to put them together because I think I was not paying attention and I put her in a really bad position. So we'll see if we can get a character to die on this because that would just be. No, we don't want that. I mean. We can Unless show that Dimitri. we can show that it happens. We don't want we we don't want to. I feel the really bad right now. Somebody was really excited about Dimitri, and I'm just giving him shit. So I'm just gonna I'm throw gonna Dimitri stop. into the pit and just. If, I, if I'm Dimitri sure. Fight everybody. I'm sure he's a great character. You'll either come out of this much stronger right. or die. He's not a great character. You said that. You well, know? Hey, okay. So not my, everybody's a great character. Uh, just give up. I think what was interesting was one of my friends actually played that path. And this wasn't okay. Elise or no, not Elise. <laughs> Sorry, not Elise. I'm, I'm like not hiding my friendship with Elise this time. Um, Derek actually, who she, wait, she it. just blocked that sword attack with a bow. She just like for can, CG okay. magazine. Kim um, trained her how to do that. That's we <laughs> we were talking after like just to see how different our playthroughs were and. He, we had different final bosses, and just like our whole stories and the branching paths were really interesting. Um, I felt like mine turned out way more interesting than his did, so okay. maybe it was just there's. I should say there are multiple branching paths within. So the first like big decision is your house. Then you get these other decisions and it'll tell you before you're making them. It'll be like, this is uh, going decision. to drastically change the story. So, you know, um, and a branch within after yeah. that. So just it's not like, like just your house is your decision. You have these other big ones, which on my playthrough, I had a lot of tough decisions. I felt like um, that even I was like, I don't know. I even went back and I went through a little bit of the other paths because I just wanted to make sure mm -hmm. I made the right choice. I don't know. There's not really a right choice, though, I should say. Yeah, um, would you have gone back and said, oh, no, I've made a, a huge lot mistake. Of, there's a lot of shades of gray in, in this game on even, like I said, with anything. So, so you get your MVP who gets extra motivation. Oh, that's cool. Like, Play of the game. Yeah. Play of the game. So 
are your subsequent do you think your subsequent playthroughs with like new game plays do you think those will be faster or they, it's like you are faster, you are investing 50 hours per playthrough faster because you can carry over a lot of things okay um we'll just end this day and we can see some cutscenes coming up but yeah that's the tea party I wish I could have done New Game Plus in school. I would have been way better <laughs> the second time. We're yeah. in it right now. Yeah. I just, oh, wow. That's true. If I go like this. It's we, never too this late was to New the Game cool Plus thing that education. we found out when we filmed the last uh, New Game Play today on this is if you move your character, you can move her across the screen oh. at the bottom there. Is, is Bandai Namco, <laughs> do they still have that patent? Are they going to come and sue them? <laughs> so, yeah, this lets us know that we're about to enter a store. Oh, and it's his birthday. Is Bird and Rain Moon the so name we of the could month? Try to, do I don't, it, do I don't it. know this character that well. I'm going to mess the this up. Don't I'm mess it up. Oh, he's not. It. He's got his arms crossed. He is, Give him he is pro adversarial. Oh, God. He's easy to read. Okay. <laughs> this guy's we, textbook. All right. we, we need some observation. What is this T? Bitter, is it not? Oh, bitter, is it not? We're no, already he, he not did not doing like well. it. We're not doing well. Look at that stare. Okay. Who's your first crush? Our first meeting? I think. It's either that. Yeah, well, yeah. I got it. They were drawn yeah. in. All right. Woo! If we get all three, we get to observe, right? Between this and judgment, like, make conversations matter. Um, yeah, and Grift Lance. Yeah. He so does, wait, is this, he is does like random? to cook. He okay. does like to cook. So that it's, is... it's about reading and knowing, like, your right. character's okay. personality. Oh, I got it. As Good. long as it's not just random luck. All right. I did not pay attention to this character at all, so this is making me really I nervous. I can't wait to observe this you guy. You got at least oh, a 33% Oh, God. See, chance. this is where it feels so random here. Like, any of this could be. Fulton's future. There it is. Oh. All right, here we go, guys. Right, We're doing check it. Check this dude Ooh. out. I can't wait to see this. I would rather learn at my own pace. He does not. Okay. Mm, private. This is Dimitri's like butler, by the way. Okay. Wow. Uh, so we're getting to see some of Dimitri. Okay. So, oh god, I have to get this right. You have to get this right too. What? I thought there's there's three. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> oh, I got it. There we go. Perfect. Perfect tea oh time. my god, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> right. I can't wait to see this. All right, so now I can it's nod and bad. zoom in on him. What does my face hell? unsettle does... you? I have heard. Well, you said this. The, you you said this Twitch stream to be like 18 plus, right? Like you said that. Hey, might be content, might be. Oh, this is right. Bad. Oh, here we go. We're, I mean, uh, what else are you supposed to do here? Like, it's so odd. You just try to find like the points on their body that. It is so weird for Nintendo to lean into this stuff. But it's uh, it's fairly. Do you guys tame, still want to observe? Yeah, or yeah. yeah. Our, our numbers on my free cams are blowing up. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> Dude, I just had it. Oh, it's so silly. It's really silly. Sometimes they'll be like, "Oh, professor," and you're like, "This is just a weird. Don't do it." You gotta really observe them. Well, I had. Does my face unsettle you? I've heard it before. I know. If it unsettled me, why would I get Wait, this Wait, so close? is the goal of this mode to just look at them from every possible yeah. angle? Is there, yeah, is there and a just game? try to get. No. It's you not a goal, anything? it's a reward. Yeah. I'm just going to end it. Right. I just can't right now. <laughs> it's just the weird thing about it. It just it feels. I don't mind t having tea with my students, but I don't want to look at them that close. I mean, I don't even like to... That's the greatest reward yeah. any teacher can ask for, is you get close to the student and you really understand them. And you then improve you can check their them charm, out. by the <laughs> yeah. way, with the perfect tea time, I should say. Mm. Well done. You have So, nothing. yeah, we this got guy? that Is that battle. Kyle? Yeah, that's it Kyle. Is. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing Kyle Simulator. Look, okay, we got training weight gift we can give people, but oh. yes, this is the main mission here. Um, mm. So... Oh, yeah, now that's... things are starting to get a little political here. Um, oh, so this is a political. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I want to go into this. I'm trying to think of what else I can show. Oh, oh we got a support conversation we can watch. Okay, okay, let's do that. This is their first one, so you're not. This isn't going to spoil okay. anything. Okay, I was That's really word. concerned, very concerned. Uh oh, this uh -oh. is what the game's all about. These conversations. Um, every character has their own cool little arc. You kind of get to know them through these. What? You were praying so fervently. I didn't want to. So what you would say if like someone likes the persona the system that this is. Up the rally. Yeah, but it's no. about more what about then? the two characters. You also have support conversations with them, so the that also is like Where a social know? link, I guess. That's you it. kind of you help Just your students on. overcome, yeah. Like Let's Persona, you help them with your social links. So you were pondering the existence of the goddess then? Yes. All right. Consider this: the archives here have all kinds, but when people tell stories of the goddess. It's only they probably hope to rake in more followers by glorifying the goddess. That it's would all be about why followers. The to quietly <laughs> I guess I should can explain some of the political stuff that's going just, on that's just like that's very. Kind of so, this is a political game? 
Not in the sense of how people use statement? that word incorrectly, <laughs> but actual like it reminds me of like of Suicoden sure with the politics, okay. the betrayals, the you know everybody thinks they know what's right for the world and they're gonna you know do what they can to make that happen i don't want to do so can you like destabilize the third world countries in this world with by so using... there's three there's these three <laughs> territories basically and they've all been in peace for a while they've all agreed to it hey, the church man. runs everything the church also hosts this school which mm -hmm. gives the up-and-coming students brightest of the future um prepares them for life and uh Okay. You know, so some stuff trolls. happens that basically. I got a, I got a couple of predictions. Basically, yeah. Because you know, yeah, you, there's there's one track can, for any JRPG, read, right? Be, and if you've played other Fire Emblem games, I think you can read between the lines of what's gonna, you know, how it's gonna. Be. I don't. I don't think there's ever been a good church in a JRPG. They're always bad. Well, you can decide if you want to align <laughs> where you want to align with which leader of each house, because mm -hmm. I said they're all different, and yep. also with like what the church wants. Okay. Here's a question, like. I, I feel like we are getting a little bit of who the students are a little bit in the stream, but do, does the game let you, s like, quote-unquote, sample your your students before you pick a house, or is it just like yes, you're making you this get, choice and then you live no, with whatever you get consequences? To, uh, you get to see all their little back stories before you pick each house because you go around to okay. each of them. Uh, so that's cool. So you d do you do a couple missions okay. before you choose a house, or is it just like first thing? Oh, you thing can is... also reclass at any point, by the way, which okay. is really nice. That's cool. Yeah. Sorry, what did you say? Do you do you uh, like do a couple missions with like the main cast and say like at some point, okay, now you have to choose a house, or is it just like the like how early in the game do you have to choose a house? Oh, it's like thirty minutes in. About oh, okay. I'm guessing. All right. So you, you don't get I'm... too much time, but it, you do get Let's to see. see who I can the show you are. his crest. And... Uh, people in chat are wondering if this is pre or post time skip in the story. Oh, this is pre. This is really early on in the game. I should say. I made sure that I went with an early early save on okay. it. Okay. So. Yeah, this isn't going to show you anything. The problem is, so I'll say you're seeing their designs from later because of this being New Game Plus, I equipped the other costumes because I like them better. So that might be where some of the confusion sure. is about it being that time. It's not. So okay. sorry about that. Uh, so just after the time skip, is it like, do you have as much to do between missions or is it, does it accelerate the pace a little bit? No, it's still the same pace. Okay. The They're game always students. stays with that student. <laughs> yeah. Well, with that kind yeah. of pace of like you're doing this during each, you know, you're doing your lessons. You're trying to figure out. Um, you're trying to get them better. Okay. Except now they're trying to find gainful employment with their degrees. Mm -hmm. Oh God, that's the real game. Yeah, let's yeah. look at some of the end stuff game we content. Can buy. That's Fire Emblem no houses. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> coding, coding doesn't exist yet, so it's like there's no automatically simple option to right. get, immediately See, get a job. You know, this weapon is like super effective against um, armored enemies. Right. Like there's stuff like that you want to keep in mind. So I'd say like for people worried that oh, they Lance, don't right? have to think more about like the weapon they're bringing into battle, you do still, like, you want to make sure, like, that's obviously good for Horse Slayer. It's very self-explanatory, mm -hmm. but... That's a really good name for a horse. <laughs> like it would be a lie. Going. It would be false Let's advertising if it wasn't. Let's see what else I can wasn't. do. Uh, item shop. Let's see what's in here. I bet there's items in there. I'd like to take this Horse Slayer back. Like, it did not slay the horse. Those are your seals, and you need those to be able to take your uh, To upgrade your yeah. characters. Okay. So you want to make sure torches help you see with the fog. Um... Keep okay. some of these on you in the beginning of the game. They become less important as it goes on. And Are there these classes? Can yes. You... Yes. Okay. And um, the, can they help you basically open any chest? Yes. Mm, okay. Yes, they Great. can. So yeah, let's. I want to forge. I just don't think I have any. Let's oh see. wait, we can make him. We can give him a magic bow. Okay. Where do you get these materials? But like, why? I see your the weight will be different on that, but it will go down okay. in effectiveness. So but, do you just get this like? But it's got a stuff like arcane crystals in battle. You get them in battle. You can also open up by doing a side quest, um, a shop that will let you. We could do a killer lands. Hey, yo. Um, <laughs> Great names on the killer lands. Well, see, it's it's uh, yeah, ranked C instead of E. So yeah. And it also yeah, has a higher let's crit Let's do rate. it. Let's make it. Um, I forgot what I was saying because I got distracted by the Sorry. pretty weapon. It's okay. <laughs> you would like to observe the weapons then. Ah, yes. Yes. From every angle. Yes, for my, it's like this is a no-brainer. Let's, let's, let's yeah. give him. I do like that they are expanding a little bit. So I guess so, like his his whole like I'm, I'm sort of Wolverine shtick 
is impossible with like the regular weapon triangles. So I'm, I'm glad they're yeah, out it, a it's bit. definitely like I said, there's a lot more um, flexibility and also your right. own creativity. I feel like that goes into battles. So I'm not seeing any. Do you have any spellcasters on your team? Uh, so we're very early on. She's the one who has magic, but you okay. also want to keep her equipped with like a bow because right. uh, to give her other options in battle. But it's one strategy tip for me. It's a good tip. So someone who who played the the Black Eagles in the last playthrough, you just like these are the these are the other kids. Yep. They they don't hold you a candle really, to my you, main yeah, group. Well, that's that's what makes it hard because people are like to me, "What's the best house?" And I'm like, I'm gonna be honest with you right now. I'm biased because those Black mm. Eagles and me have been through a lot. Yeah. And you know, once I took that, uh, I want to call them the Blackhawks. They kind of are close <laughs> to my Black, the Black Hawks. Hawks. Sorry, uh, big hockey fan, but uh, yeah. Hawks so. and eagles, totally different birds. Wingspans yes. are totally different. They're in native but yeah, environments. You can change their goals. Like right now, that's the goal we have him on. But you could take him on a custom focus if you wanted to change that. Um, and that's basically what they learn, focusing on their lessons each Wait, week. Reason is that a what is reason a, a weapon or what is, it what is reason, reason is magic. reason is a very powerful weapon, sir. <laughs> you should know that by now. Okay. Like faith, faith is the heels. That's okay. the that's the magic that you. Throw that's like at the people. power of science. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. um, oh, that's like owning someone with facts and logic. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Authority it's for like saying, well, actually, for people, <laughs> okay. authority will help you with your battalion, so you'll be able to um, have better class of battalions if you level. Okay. That up. I thought it was very useful personally, but so theoretically, I mean, is there a way to recruit new students? Because your students can die permanently, right? Yes. So, like I said, you can recruit students from okay. other houses, um, but they'll be like, "Oh, you'll know what you need to do to get them." Because they'll be like, "Oh, you're like, you know, sword skills aren't right. high enough. I'm not joining you yet." I never had a problem with trying to find other people to recruit, and I did it. Uh, at the end, you can also recruit the other professors to your team, which is really cool. Okay. Because uh, they've got some good skills. So. Could you get and every student killed in the whole school? That's what I, I was going to say. In the theoretical space, can you create a <laughs> fail space? She's thinking about it right now on the screen. Where you run out of students. I can get them all killed. I, I want to see that so bad. I didn't try to do that. It's very, it's very, it's very theoretical. That seems very strange that you wouldn't try to get all of your students killed I know, as like, you're running the game. <laughs> like, let's say you're having I mean, a really tough time. See, we can see if there's a cut scene here just to show, but I think this is probably going to be like a really, oops, I don't want to save because I don't like what we did. I mean, just, the, you know, if you're really struggling theoretically and you're playing on permadeath mode, is it possible to just lose all your students and fail the game? <laughs> I mean, I think you'd get a game over, right? Yeah. You'd have yeah. To, you'd, I think at some point you'd just reload the save. So teach, this must be the tower, don't you think? You know, even for a tower, it's yeah. pretty... Um, Great dialogue This guy's here, a genius. He's you. your smartest student, right? Um, <laughs> actually, it's more like a fortress. <laughs> it's a remnant of ancient wars. Oh, yeah, I was going to say something. Wait, so your character is completely quiet then, right? She's like, yeah, it's silent for a tag. It actually didn't bother me. Um, some games it does because it just feels off, but I didn't have any issues with it. This feels more like they're just skipping your responses where they're just like, I said a thing, but well, you we edited say that out. You chose the right, dialogue yeah. option. You chose the dialogue, but it's not, it's, like, it's not like your character in the world does speak. It's just not, it's not shown to you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And then we have the mythical sword of the creator, which can't be, maybe you're just that special, Teach. You're going to get like cool weapons for your main character also as you go along, um, which like have extra powers for them, sword, lance, whatever. Um. Right. Also, I, do, I guess everyone calling you Teach is like a really good way to get out of actually having to pronounce whatever you actually call yourself. Well, he's the one who uses Teach because he's Claude and he's like, I'm, I'm cool. Do you have a last name and everyone just calls you Mrs. whatever or Miss whatever? Let's let's play around. Like an Whee! actual teacher. <laughs> That's pretty fun. That is fun. All right, I think I'm, I hide behind Surreal. I'm buying this. Yeah. There, there's like I said, there's just a lot of cool. It the way. So I should say the way that the professor and everything else goes through um, works into the combat and social systems um, is what makes it so fun. So I hope we got that across. Yeah. The it definitely <laughs> feels a lot like XCOM in a lot of ways, where it's like what you do between battles is so important to yeah exactly making sure you're doing better on the battlefield yes so the enemy is yeah by. i think that's a good look at the game okay unless you guys want to see this is a dungeon where let me see if it is well, we don't, i don't want to spoil anything for anybody yeah. 
Yeah. I think we think you're pretty much laid out on time, everything yeah. that's going on. Yeah, I just don't want to spoil any more for people. So okay, I just let us know any last questions you got. Yeah, in the chat any real questions quick. I can I can do for now. NBM right. asks if the dialogue is somewhat humorous anywhere. Like, did you ever chuckle? Other yes. FE games seem pretty yes. static too. Yeah, no, person. they have some good. There's some good stuff. There's some funny <laughs> scenes that happen too. Like one of the girls. Uh, so where is she? She is younger than everyone else. So she's try constantly trying to prove herself and act like she's. Uh, Oh, older than she is, but like she's actually scared that there's like ghosts on the campus, and mm. there's some funny scenes Stay with her when you like catch her or call her out. There's Bernadetta, who's like a recluse who Ready just sits in her time. room all day, and you can be like, I have cake out here, and try to like draw Trailer, her out, and she's like, You cake. jerk, you know? Like, there it does have some a, a sense of humor. Again, a to normal it, so. teacher thing to do. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I tell every that's how I get people to do what I want. I offer them cake. I mean, that's how people get me to do what they want, too. Cake yeah. is where it's at. <laughs> I want one of those cookies from tea time. But yeah, I'll, uh, any other questions, I'd be happy. Gnarlyville asks If you like Octopath Traveler, do you think you'll like this? Hmm. I feel like those are fairly different games. That, I feel like they are kind of different in the sense that this is a strategy RPG. I think this has way more social elements to it. Um, if you like games where you kind of have um, flexibility over how you build your characters and also like fun character interactions, then yeah. Um, if you're going to know if you're going to like it or not. Desert Fury asks, are multiple playthroughs worth it? Yes. Uh, this is the first game, I should say, in a long time that I finished Sorry. a review game and immediately loaded up a new save file because I had to see the other houses and what happened. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it makes your head spin kind of of like all the different um, ways that this, things can unfold. And you want to see, like, even now I've started this other playthrough and I'm like, oh man, this is our special sword, by the way. And I was talking about the oh, special cool sword. This um, is the Ivy. Yeah. But I'm like, it feels different because I have a whole new house now I'm getting to know. And uh, that in itself is cool. Also, like, just the leaders really do play a different role. So, like, if you're feeling one more than the other, I'd say pick that because you are going to work very closely with the leader of each house. Um, so yeah. do you think you're going to finish this playthrough, even being done with the review and everything? Yeah. You're and gonna... I was already, as you saw when we were going through, like, there's already over 60 hours into some mm -hmm. of these save files. Nice. Um yeah, I'm definitely going to finish this one. And then my choice is, do I want to go the Dimitri path, which I'm still deciding <laughs> if I'm going to... That's the hardest mortal, mortal yeah, choice Yeah, I was all. like, Claude interests me just because of how neutral he is. And I want to see if that stays the entire game on another playthrough. Mm -hmm. Like I said, sometimes you'll get characters also with you on the battlefield that are um, helping, but you can't control. Like that guy right there, reinforcements will come in that you have to like adapt your strategy for and prepare. There's traps all over the battlefields. So I'm trying to make sure I get everything in that I could. Um, it's just like, there's a lot to talk about with the game, and it's just yeah. hard to compact it all. But I like, bet, yeah, there's Dimitri's a treasure. Awesome. Wizard Tate and Taylor Clark want to know how far in the time skip is. Oh, like th for me, with doing like the playthrough that I did, which is 55 hours, I want to say it was around the 30-hour mark that the time skip happened. Wow. So, oh, wow. so there's yeah, quite a it, bit there's of time. like two part. There's two parts to that game, and I say the first part is this, and then the time skip is the second onward. Um, so yeah. Cool. Yeah. Diego Roa asks if you ever get overwhelmed controlling this many units. Seems like you have a lot of guys, especially for early game. Um, I didn't personally, but I can understand. Uh, I would just say in the beginning, just, you know, try to look at each character and really determine how you're going to use them on the battlefield. You know what characters pretty early on you're going to want to put up front. You know you're going to want to shield your healers, your mages. Um, you know, you obviously, like I said, consider that you have ranged attackers. You have attackers who are better up close. Um, there's just, there's a lot to consider with your turn. So I, like I said, there's a lot of different strategies you can take too um, as it goes on. Excellent. Mm -hmm. here's, a, here's a question for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Does it play differently on handheld? Is there anything like, because this feels like an interface that might be. Uh, I, yeah, I preferred little... to play it on um, the big screen, but there's, there's a reason for that. Like this is the first Fire Emblem on like a, console outside a of a handheld a since Radiant Dawn. Yeah. So it then that was like 2007. So it's been a while. That was on um, the Wii for everyone. Yeah. Ever. 
the yeah, we, wow, yeah. dreams, but uh, <laughs> that that existed even. Uh, it did exist. But the handheld fun. mode is fun too, and you can play with it fine. I actually think like some of the um, visuals on and the camera like feel better on the handheld, but I, I alternated between them. Both, yeah, I, so. I saw something about like how the text was maybe a little hard to read on, on the portable, so maybe oh, okay. it on the, on yeah, the I could see that. I said I did a lot on the big screen. Okay. I basically the majority of my playthrough. I think I only played handheld when I was I did a trip to Chicago over the weekend and was uh, playing in the car. <laughs> All right. Paul M wants to know if there's any multiplayer of any kind. Uh, there's some online stuff. It's very um, small that you can like compare stuff of choices with other characters. You can exchange items, uh, stuff like that. There's these little mini like dungeons you can roll through during it. Uh, but as for like being able to like play with other people, no, it's a single player game. Mm -hmm. Dancing Flower wants to know if it's challenging. Would you say this game's challenging? I was laughing because I was looking on Twitter yesterday and somebody had made the point that like, some reviewers are saying this is easy. Some are saying it's really hard. It's that funny thing that difficulty is very subjective. Um, for me, I felt like it was on the easier side for a Fire Emblem game. But as I said before, this comes from somebody who's been playing the series uh, for a long time. Uh, I also heard some people said certain like paths with um, characters were more difficult than others. So like um, different houses might yeah, be Yeah, some people, harder. like I saw someone say Dimitri's was easier, which I, like I said, I can only speak to Edelgard's and I felt like her path, I didn't get difficult for me. Like nothing got, oh, I really have to like, I'm really scared that I'm gonna lose somebody until like the, toward the end of the game. Cause there's some big freaking battles there that if you can easily lose somebody if you're not paying attention. But it's hard for me to say if I don't know if somebody's like played a lot of Fire Emblem, you know. I say yeah. someone like Tack, who's played the series a lot, I'd say play it on the hardest difficulty That's what I was gonna can. say, there's different difficulty modes, right? So. Yeah, and they're adding even a harder one um, that they're gonna Not do through release. an update. Yeah, okay. so that's also there. Um, but as for me, like just playing on the standard difficulty would felt a little easy, yeah. but I wasn't sure until <laughs> I got into it <laughs> where that was gonna lead. All right. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to play this. It's been, it's been a, Nintendo isn't entirely responsible for this, but it's been a while since there has been a good Advance Wars game and a good Fire Emblem game released on the same year. <laughs> yeah, so, you're right about that. This, mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty excited about my favorite tactics series, I guess. Nice. Cool. For more Fire Emblem, you can listen to the latest Game Informer show. Talk more about this. I'm game gonna go listen to it right now. And Don't read do Kim's now. review. Yes, yeah, please. I, I spent a lot right of time on that. <laughs> yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Ended with a crit. Just want to put it out there. <laughs> <laughs>